Oh, hi. What do you reckon we do a bit of a fucking, bit of an intake clean? <laughs> there she is, boys and girls. The Mighty 100. Best engine ever built, in my opinion. Nothing wrong with the fucking petrols. If you got one, they're fucking good too. Take it over a Nissan any day. It is the best engine, but they done one, one thing I didn't like. They put this on it. This fucking thing puts exhaust gas into the fucking intake. Save emissions. Fucking, fucking top idea, mate. Except it puts fucking shit through the whole intake. So guess what? I'm going to blank the fucking dog. And I'm going to pull all the intake off and give it a clean. It's a bit of a dog, but I'll show you how I do it. We'll see, fuck, we'll see what it's like inside. All right, first step. Pull this fucking intercooler hose off. Get that fucking thing off. Right, we got him off. Couple handy hints. Fucking chuck some rags or something to cover any open pipes. You don't get shit in the engine anywhere. Another handy hint. Take some photos of all these fucking clips and hoses. You won't remember how they go back if you fucking don't. There's even a few sneakies over the back there, but we'll get to that. So we'll pull off this fucking, I don't know, fucking soft stop fucking thing. It actually just... Shuts off a butterfly when you turn the thing off so it doesn't have a rough fucking stop like them fucking 1AZ blokes, eh? Fucking got you there, boys. <laughs> Before I go fucking pulling that off, I'm going to uh, unclip all these harnesses, take the bolt off, get the whole fucking harness off to the fucking side of the thing, pull off this fucking intake heater power, tuck him off out of the way. And, uh, make sure you got your fucking batteries disconnected so you don't fucking arc out. I don't think the fucking thing's live until you turn it on anyway, but just to be sure, turn the fucking thing off. Because that's what I said! Uh, I got all them harnesses disconnected so you can... I can pull him off out of the way. Tuck him out of the fucking way somewhere. Fuck him off. Right, Righto, back to where we were. Round here. You got a heap of fucking... <laughs> heap of these fucking vacuum hose fucking things. You gotta fucking get them off. This fucking one's here, fucking all this shit. Get everything off the fucking thing, we'll start unbolting this soft stop and then our fucking heater and this fucking part, this fucking dog. Hey, that fucking thing, get him off. Round all the way to the intake and then we'll uh, get onto the intake manifold. That's a little bit trickier. That's more of a fuck about, that one. Right, there's him off. Here he is, the intake heater. Fucking soft stop fucking thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking drop the gasket. Probably should put new ones of these fuckers on, but I haven't got them, so I'll just fucking clean these up and use these again. I don't give a fuck. So I'll fucking sit there with the rest of the fucking gear in here. Fucking beauty. Next fucking thing. We'll get that fucking next section off. Yeah, them four bolts up there and this fucking back one here. That, that fucker should come off. Let's get him off. Come on. Right, here's the next part of the intake off. You can see it's uh, a little bit of oil and and shit, but you can see the closer it gets to that EGR fucking valve, the dirty it gets. I'll just sit this fucking thing on the bench. And we'll have a look, see what sort of uh, mess that fucking thing's created from here on. Yeah, look at that. There's fucking heaps of shit in there. So yeah, fucking mad idea, the EGR. Real good idea. Let's fuck that off. Right next, I, uh, I want to get this actual EGR valve off, but that little fucking breather gets in the way of it coming all the way off. So we'll just take off the, uh, what is it, four manifold bolts over here and get the whole fucking thing off. There's going to be a couple of uh, vacuum lines hanging off it. We'll have to disconnect, but you'll fucking see them as you find them. Get that fucking set up off. Good on you. Right, so that's that off. It's, uh, you can see down there how much shit's in there. I have seen worse, but still pretty fucking shit. If you have a look over here at this part of the intake, you can see all the shit in there. And that's all fucking build up, all that. It's pretty bad. See it on this side too, fucking heaps of shit in there. We'll clean all that fucking shit out. Yeah, it's fucking... That's fucking shocking, mate. Very yeah, good. We'll fucking clean him up. But the next fucking thing is we've got to get that bloody intake manifold off. 
And as you can see, the um, injector lines hug around it like a fucking dog of a cunt. So you gotta pull all your injector lines off, which is a bit of a bitch. But uh, first thing you gotta pull that cover of the injection pump. That's just there to make it sound quieter. Makes it sound like a fucking smooth, beautiful fucking FTE that it is. Um, them fucking retainers that hold the lines, very important they go back on. Otherwise your lines will vibrate and end up fracturing. And you're gonna need, I think there are 17 fucking uh, crow's foot spanner to get them off the injectors. You'll want at each end actually, but we'll get to that when we fucking get to it. Good on ya! We'll just have a quick swing, and then we'll get back into it, eh? All right, next step, gotta pull this rocker cover cover off. Just, I think it's just four fucking bolts, one on each corner. Pull him off, probably got to move the cap to get him off, so don't go fucking snapping her off like a dickhead. But uh, from memory, I've watched in a previous video, I think they're um, glued on to the actual rocker cover, so undo them, we'll pry them off and have a fucking squeezy. So next is uh, take the oil cap off, put a bit of a rag to block it, and you just got to fucking pry it off this fucking, ah, another hose on here. There's plenty of these hoses. Yeah, you pry him off. She'll come off. Ugh. See that foam shit? It was stuck on in there. And that's the real rocker cover. Now we can get to our injector lines individually and get them off. Fucking beauty. Alright, our next step we'll um, take off these. Like 10 mils. Don't know about this one, probably that one too, but maybe that one down there. But got to take this cover off this injector pump. Free it up so we can get to the end of these injector lines. That's what we'll do. Right here, I've got the top cover off the pump and I've just pulled the bottom one away enough to get it off. We've got to disconnect heaps of other shit, but I think that'll be enough room. Now with the injectors, obviously they all go in their own spot. What I usually do is label them one to six from the front of the vehicle to the back just as a double assurance. But I also label them on the nuts as I get them off, so you know which order. So I don't know what order it is, but that first one there, which looks like cylinder three, that's gonna be the first one off. So three will be off first, so I'll label that nut uh, six, because it'll be the last one to go on. But you know what I'm fucking getting at. Label however you want it, just so you can fucking remember how the cunts go back. And also these brackets, there's three of them. Brackets holding, holding them all together. They're very important. Good on you. Right, we've got all them bloody retainers off. Um, this is the uh, fucking crow's foot spinner you're gonna need. I think it's a 17, let's have a fucking feeler. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, don't be tempted to cut a spinner to make it like that because they just fucking open up, they're no good. You need a proper purpose built one. Yeah, so you can see I've labelled one to six just in order from front to back. But I'm also going to label that one's one. So that's the first one that's going to come off. And I'll just do it reverse order when I put them back on. So I'll undo that nut. I'll undo it up here where it comes to and pull each one off individually. Now be, be careful to make sure everything stays clean in these. Cover them up and sure you don't want any shit in your injector lines. You fuck the whole show. Uh, cleanliness is key, fucking good on ya. Right, all the injector lines are off. I just covered the end of the pump inlets and uh, the injector lines on the bench there. Now we're nearly ready to get this intake off, but first we're to get off a couple things. This power steering reservoir, unbolt that. This heater hose here, a couple, couple things here and there. Just disconnect off it and we'll um, pull the fucker off. What do you reckon? Yeah, I fucking reckon! Ah! Right, I've just got uh, one more thing to pull off that manifold, but after you've got it all off, there's a heap of uh, 12mm bolts. Pull the fucking manifold off. Get the dog off the fucking thing. Then we're ready to clean the cunt. We'll have a look in it. <laughs> right, it, that's the intake manifold off. It's uh pretty dirty but it's not uh, too bad either. Well I had a bit of an oil leak so I wanted to change the intake gasket anyway so here I am. Anyway, 
That's fucking how you get into the dog. So we'll give all this shit a fucking clean. And uh, we'll put him back together. And that's, that's fucking it. That's how you take clean, mate. So we'll fucking, we'll get into it. All right, I'll fucking give everything a clean. It's the EGR, this fucking intake manifold fucking part. It was a fucking dog to clean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, fucking have a look at this. Have a look at the fucking mess I caused here, cleaning it. That's the sort of fucking time I had. So if you're doing it, fucking good luck. Good luck about it. It's a fucking kind of a fucking sludgy shit to get out. So I fucking clean the manifold. I've just put a new gasket on there and I've, I've just sat it on there to torque it up. 20 newton meters, I think it is, you can torque that up to. And don't forget the little fucking rubber coated washer things. Eight dollars each from Toyota, eh? Fucking. Does it look like fucking eight bucks to use? It fucking doesn't look like eight dollars to me. Fucking rip off cunts. Ask for a price on this fucking top intercooler hose from fucking Toyota. This one's not too bad, I just wouldn't mind replacing it. Eight hundred fucking bucks, eh? You're fucking having a laugh, Toyota, mate. Fucking eight hundred for a fucking hose, eh? You fucking wanna go me, dear? You're having a laugh, eh? <laughs> ah! Oh, I see what you've done to me, help! Help! Right, now it's time to put the fucking injector lines back on. So remember you fucking leave it on however you did it. And we'll just put them on back in the order. I shouldn't have to fucking do this. I should have fucking... Wish I had more money to pay some cunt to do it. But fucking, I'm a broke, so I gotta do it myself. Fucking, what do you do? Hey? Right up, I fucking bolted them extra fucking things back on the manifold. Got the rocket cover cover back on. Starting to fucking look like a motor again. Fuck me, starting to look like the fucking FTE she fucking is. Hey, fucking hell. Now we gotta get the uh, rest of the intake fucking shit on. Clean them fucking gaskets up and fucking reuse them because I'm not fucking buying other fucking ones! Right, now that's that dog on. I'm fucking just putting a couple of the uh, solenoids and shit back on. These harnesses and whatnot. I'm just replacing all the vacuum hoses I go. Just got a fucking roll from fucking super dogs. Just replace that old shit with some new stuff. Fucking see how it goes. Probably won't last as long as the fucking good old rubber shit, but we'll fucking see. We'll give it a go. Right, so we fucking we got them couple of things on. Now we're getting to the fucking EGR deletey bit. So I'll fucking show you over here first. You can see down the exhaust. There's a flange spot there, that's where the exhaust come from to go into the intake. And on the back of this fucking EGR thing, that's where it come into the intake here. So when that fucking solenoid here gets triggered to turn the EGR on, EGR, fucking EGR on, it'll put vacuum into that line, which pulls the fucking, this fucking diaphragm in and pulls that up. Allowing exhaust gas back into the dog. Which I don't fucking want anymore. So I've fucking made up a couple blanking plates. You know, there's a bloke even on the 100 series sites. He makes them. They'd be fucking even better. But I'm broke cunt, so I had to fucking make me own. So that's on the exhaust side. I just tapped in a thread for an EGR valve. It's a fucking half decent spot for it. And I fucking welded on a bit of a barb onto this one for a fucking boost gauge. But, um... To read boost, obviously a lot of the time that's shut so you won't get boost pressure, so you can bypass the solenoid and make it stay on all the time, so there's always a vacuum holding that back, or some people I think fucking drill that dog out. I'm probably going to do the first one because if I ever have to put it back for some fucking reason, I'll be able to put it back to how it was again. Some fucking dog might dog me in, I don't fucking know. Yeah, if any cunts ask, this is for fucking race use only, mate. Off-road only, mate. Fucking, you know. But yeah, fucking. Fuck it off. Put them fucking things on. So we'll get into it! Alright, that's him on. Fucking bit of fucking slaz on the fucking gasket, because I didn't fucking buy newies. Fucking reuse them. So, uh, you know, we'll fucking get to the next bit. We're fucking starting to get there, you know. This blue shit here, it's fucking good. Yeah, let me fucking show you what it is. This fucking Permatex, Permatex fucking Ultra Blue, man. This is fucking good. Fucking, this shit will fucking stick any fucking thing together. It's pretty good. 
Fucking hell, we'll get this fucking piece on, eh? What do you reckon? Fucking hell. Righto, I got that fucking bit on. Now there's something I'm sure you are all fucking aware of. Is this fucking thing, this map filter. I've heard time and time again these things cracking and causing low boost and heaps of fuel usage and fucks them, basically. So I fucking forked out, hey, big spender, forked out and fucking got another one. You can buy a fucking heaps better metal one, but I'm fucking broke. I can't afford that shit, so this standard one will fucking do me. You got a fucking problem with me being broke, hey? I'll fucking headbutt the fuck out of you if you do. Alright, the next thing fucking to go on is this fucking intake heater. Now these fucking things, most people in Australia reckon you can fuck them off because most areas don't get cold enough for it, but I'm from fucking Canberra, so I probably will keep the fucking thing. It gets pretty fucking cold here. You know, they reckon it's not, not restrictive, but fucking looks restrictive. I'll give them a clean out with some fucking carb cleaner. And fucking unblocked it a bit, but I'll whack him on. Fucking oath. I've had enough for a little bit, working on this thing. How about we have a kick out, have a bit of break, we'll fucking get back in, alright? Fucking oath! <laughs> right, that's that fucker on. Now we'll fucking get the electrical harness and fucking octopus it around everything and click them all in. Fucking hope we haven't missed something. We'll see how we fucking go. Uh, I don't, that's the fucking harness back on. Everything fucking plugged in. Don't forget your power for the fucking heater. Or you'll have a fucking big live wire fucking arcing out welding in the engine bay. Hey, what will fucking do for tonight? Yeah, I might just fucking call it a night. I can want it, so I can have a bit of a dance. <laughs> right. Alright, it. fucking last thing we're gonna do is put our fucking lower and upper intercooler fucking lines on. Um, that's about fucking it, I think. We'll fucking see him and see if he goes any better with all that shit clear. I gotta fucking do a boost gauge and EGT gauge. I might even do a video on that. I can show you fucking mad cats how to do it. Not that I fucking know yet. I'll have to fucking work it out as I go too. Fuck it well. Fucking put them cunts on then. And there we fucking go. All done. Um, that was a cunt. But, uh, you know, got through it in the end. The intake's fucking clean. I'll give it a run. Goes, goes good. I wouldn't say any much power difference, but definitely worth fucking doing. Clearing the fucking dog out. You know. Isn't she worth it though, eh? Look at the fucking things. Eh? This is what Jesus would have at heels around, I'm fucking sure of it. Fucking look at them. Eh? Well, that's the fucking end of it now. I've had more than a fucking enough of this fucking shit. Hey!